All right, let's start at the very beginning uh, with your birthplace. Um, born in Omaru, um, uh, up on a farm in Korea. Right. And were you raised on that farm? Yep, been there, I was there right the way through. Well, mum and dad are still there now. I mm -hmm. uh, went to Korea school. And what sort of farm is it? I uh, was a sheep, sheep farm originally, and then over the last sort of probably five years, or five to ten years, Ever since we sort of got irrigation up up on the farm there, um, yeah, we've gone to dairy grazing more so. So, mm. yeah. And what was your jobs as a kid? Oh, putting up brake fences and shifting cows, opening gates. Right. Just all the wee wee jobs to help there. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, family talent, sporting talent? Where did that come from? Um, mum always claims it. She was always a bit of a squash player and. Um, Dad actually, he was a shearer, uh, shore for New Zealand for a wee bit. Right. Yes, and also he was quite into his jet sprinting, so he was a bit, probably a bit more. Right. Wasn't so much sporting, mm. but yeah, no. He you was, haven't mentioned rugby yet. No, no. Um, he didn't, didn't. He played first fifteen and mm. played for Kura, but yeah, never really played too much footy. Right. And so when did you start playing footy? Um, ever since I was four or five, right. since I could. Dad, Dad was always the coach from probably when I was four to about 12, so right. he always, yeah. You didn't dabble in any other sports? Or he... Yep, yep. Um, tennis, played a bit of that. Nothing too too serious, but mm. yeah, played a wee bit of tennis, a wee bit of cricket, mm. um, and then just the mucked around mm. at school playing a few of the others. So. so what sort of age did you realise you are quite good at this game? Um, probably wasn't, I was probably, I felt I was quite a sort of slow developer, so I was, um, yeah, and it wasn't for a while. I played open side till fifth form. Right. And then I um, was getting pretty small and beaten up, so. Um, at what college? Otago Boys. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, decided to try the first five. And I always like kicking the ball around and mucking about. So right. yeah, ended up there and things went pretty good. First fifteen. Yep, uh, in seventh form. I've, there's a couple, couple of injuries, uh, which mean I got a wee run in sixth form. But mate, yeah, seventh form. What year would that have been? Two thousand and eight. Right. And how yeah. competitive were Otago boys that year? Uh, yeah, relatively. Uh, Did you beat Southam boys? No, we didn't. <laughs> no, unfortunately. Which, yeah, so we missed out on playing that South Island final because mm. we lost to them. Mm. I think it was a wet, cold day down in Vicargill. <laughs> Might have even been snowing at one stage. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the excuses already. Yeah. Yeah, even at school, that's all right. So that was, um, so after just one year, of, uh, it was straight to where after school? Uh, I actually sort of, I injured my knee and had to get surgery on it, so I ended up going back home to the farm and sort of rehabbing and just for, for some work, just working on the farm mm -hmm. until it was sort of, it was probably three quarters of the way through the, the season before I could play. Right. And um, a friend of mine that was the halfback for the first thing um, said, oh, and live at my house and as long as you play for Tyree and, <laughs> right. and um, yeah so I came down and played a few games towards the end of 2009 right. just played a few games for Tyree and yeah things sort of just carried on from there. So you've not been in any New Zealand age group setups? Yep, yep. Um, from from that that year I ended up making Tago under 19s and from that got picked for the New Zealand 20s camps and that. And yeah, I was lucky enough to make make that team. Mm. So was what was it? your first uh, first class encounter? Uh, versus, versus Taranaki at Carisbrook. Mm -hmm. uh, unfortunately we lost, but... Uh, what, what was your impression of that first day? Um, it was unbelievable, yeah, it was pretty... Pretty unreal feeling, you know. Been out there with a lot of guys that I'd sort of idolised, 
since I was a kid and getting to play against them was well, it was pretty cool, yeah. What year was that? Two, 2010. 10, so all a big year for you, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, ago, yeah, yeah. It all sort of, in one year it all sort of happened and yeah, got sent me away really. So uh, come around 2011, uh, how did you feel your season was going to pan out there? Oh, it was actually one of the last, the last game of the season. I broke my leg, so that sort of yeah, that took that took a long time to come right, and mm. didn't really play a lot. Um, Tony Brown came back for Otago that year, and and so he he started pretty much most of the game. So I got, I was at least I was in the environment and got a got a feel for it, and that probably is what really sort of set me up for this year, I suppose, knowing all the ins and outs of mm. the competition and what was expected of you. And I'd say with him sort of being a mentor, and that, that was probably the biggest help, yeah. Because he came back this year and was the coach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so at least you knew your playing yeah. spot was OK. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he gave me the opportunity to have a, have a run around. So. But no, nah, he's been awesome. He's helped me with all the, the finer detail, I suppose, that when you've got a coach that probably didn't play your position, then you might not get. Mm. And, um, yeah, no, he's, he's been awesome. Another nice thing about you being picked is you've got your halfback mate with you. Yeah. Uh, for Maki uh, Tanaka, who is, a, is an excellent guy for getting the ball out of impossible positions. <laughs> yeah, no, he had a great season. He was a bit of a, yeah, he was a surprise. I mean, you look at the guy and you think, He's you sure you want to come out here and play? But no, he was he was awesome. Mm -hmm. He yeah, he was in there and get cleared the ball quickly and that was probably another reason why our outsides had the opportunity to mm -hmm. to express themselves this year with just the extra couple of seconds that he was buying them. Because between you and he, you're not the biggest inside back combination. No, it's good when I was running around. Is no, it? no, <laughs> I did notice there was a few teams sort of target that area. <laughs> had to make a few tackles this year, but. No, it was good. Yeah. And how far through the ITM Cup season did you hear that you were in line for something here? It wasn't um, until, might have been just before the semi-finals. Right. Got a phone call saying, um, yeah, like, like the way you're going. And From Jamie? Yeah, yeah, mm. and just keep doing what you're doing and um, the opportunities is there for you. Right. So what about, um, you know, what aspects of your game are they asking you to sort of work on most? Um, communication and just talking and organising and being the, the leader, I suppose, of, um, is probably a big one for me. Um, Especially when you've got senior people around. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, having to... you got to tell Mano and Nono what to do. <laughs> yeah, it'll be interesting, but yeah. oh, no, I'm looking forward to the opportunity and, Great experience. Yep. Okay, what about, so you're living in Dunedin now? You've, yep. You're flatting on your own? Or? Yep. Um, there's flatting with three others, four others. Right. Of uh, teammates? Um, one, Matt Fattis. Right, yep. He's the only other um, player from Otago. Okay. Right. And uh, there is another schoolmate. Okay. Yeah. So. So you're, quite, you're already in that establishment, were you? Yep. You uh, in? Moved in there a couple of weeks ago. So. Uh, okay. Yep. So up in Mornington, which is... And it's good to have non-rugby people around you. Oh, it you is, can't live it and is, breathe yeah, again, yeah, yeah, yeah. They can come home and tell you about their work stories or mm. just, yeah, mm. something different to talk about, I suppose. Mm. And what about hobbies? If you're not playing rugby, what else can you do? Do you do any study or...? Um, no, I'm not not a big study fan. No, that's fair enough. Um, but, yeah, I just like getting out, playing a bit of golf and just getting outside and... You always go back to the farm when you're yeah, rugby, can't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love the yeah. farm, so. Yeah, it's the most. Yeah. What, and so you're just looking at, to just grab what chance you can this year. That's basically what's in front of you. Yep, yep. Um, there's a good opportunity there. Is I just got to go out and do my best and mm -hmm. show the coaches what I can do and hopefully get an opportunity at some stage.